Banshees or not. I'm gonna do this episode. Okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about... We're skipping an episode because I'm gonna upload episode 7 later because I have the notes somewhere around here and I'll find them and I'll do it. But we're gonna talk about episode 8, the long-awaited episode that everybody has been wanting to hear about, which is the Dinobot episode because everybody loves the Dinobots. Um, just a couple notes. Uh, did it? Was it me or was the, did the red guy just sound like Shockwave? Um, I'm confused. Is this the same voice? That the same voice actor do the same voice as the red guy? I don't know. Then you've got Reflectors. Is the same voice as Starscream? So that's something to think about. Then Spike. Oh yeah. So they they, they go inside the cave. They hear these tremors and they find the dino dinosaur uh, bones. Then they're like, "What are dinosaurs?" And mind you, we are like these computer robots that pretty much almost know everything, but what are dinosaurs? And then Spike tells them, well, then, you know, there were these creatures, and they're like, oh, well, they were ugly. And then, well, look at yourself. Uh, then they go to the museum to find out what dinosaurs are all about, and then they build dinosaurs, aka dinobots. And the whole time, Spike is saying, dinosaurs! <laughs> dinosaurs! <laughs> They're not a candy that you, when you eat, it turns sour. It, they're not dinosaurs. And mind you, why hasn't anybody made that candy called dinosaurs? <laughs> eat the dinosaurs! Um, so, I bet you somebody will now. Then they build the robot versions, and then uh, Megatron attacks this dam, and he, which I'm a little confused because Megatron says, we found an unlimited source of energy, but didn't Megatron already attack a dam, and didn't he realize that it was an all, uh, like an unlimited source of energy already? I'm a little confused. Megatron is having a lapse of memory, who knows? Then they build the Dinobots called Grimlock, Slag, and Sludge. Mind you, there's two other ones later introduced. And then, I will talk about uh, the fact that there's, there's five of them there's later, and you realize, why did they combine together? Why didn't in any in any of the reincarnation of the Transformers did they not make one giant Dinobot called Super Valora? I don't know. Um, so then you've got uh, the Dinobots get crazy because they have like Dinobot brains. Uh, they have dinosaur brains, uh, and they start attacking the entire Autobot base. And then Optimus says, "No, they destroyed Teletran." And, which is a transformer computer, and they're like, no, put them away, and then they're like sad little puppies, like all like stuck in the mud, and then they basically close the gate on them. It's like, it's like basically putting a bad dog in its cage, um, equivalent of that. So, but the Dinobots are tough. I mean, they're like, it took them like a long time to take them down, and so then the Decepticons are going to the dam, and is it me, or do you see Kickback in there? Now, Kickback is one of the Insecticons that later gets introduced in the episodes. But I believe he's flying up there with the Autobots. With the Decepticons, I mean. Um, and then they land, the Decepticons land, and then you see these yellow feet. Now, I don't know about you, but there's no Decepticon that has yellow feet. So, who is that? Um, then there's a, then Megatron stands, and there's a rainbow in front of Mega, Megatron's feet. I always thought that was really funny. Um, then, um, they all, they find out that the Decepticons are doing this whole thing, and then Optimus is gonna go, and then Bumblebee's gonna go, and then Optimus tells Bumblebee, no, you stay. And Bumblebee's like, oh, he doesn't say anything, it's like, alright. Um, then, Rumble is, like, attacking the dam, and then, or, or, the, the Autobots, and then his pistons turn red. There's, like, a whole weird, like, weren't they blue? And then you find a lot of color situations. You don't find a lot of, like, doubles, but you find a lot of color situations going on here. Um, then the Bumblebee has pink seats. That's kind of cool. Like, you know, it's a toy. It's a boy's cartoon, but it's like he has pink seats. He has hot pink seats, so that was kind of neat. Um, then Optimus the Red. I don't know what I wrote. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, so then, they're, so then the, opti the, 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 the Optimus and his friends get captured, right? So then everybody's like, well, who are we going to send, you know? Do you, and then I think Will Jack goes, do you have any better ideas? Because they're going to send the Dinobots, of course. They're going to get them out and they're going to put new brains in them and send them out. Do you have any better ideas? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there is Skyfire, which is in the previous episode that I'm going to make. Uh, 
who really didn't die and later comes back, and then Skyfire's an interesting Transformer because he's there, and then he's not, and then it's really confusing. I don't know what the situation with the Skyfire is. And then Optimus is trapped, and he's blue. And then there's a white robot next to him. It's like, this is Optimus Prime. I mean, you would think that he's the leader of... It's it, like you would think that you would get the coloring right in the leader of the good guys. But they didn't. Um, and then Wheeljack shows up with the Dinobots, who ha now have new brains. And then Wheeljack shoots Megatron in his stomach with this thing. And then... Uh, <laughs> Megatron falls down. He's like, I can't move. I can't make it. And it's like, he's like, my equilibrium is lost. So basically, Wheeljack has a laser that can make you drunk. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Um, and. This, and then Skywarp is flying, he's fighting the Dinobots, and he flies right into Grimlock's mouth. Like, <laughs> when you're fighting someone, and you're a plane, you can shoot, you know, you, can, you have rockets, you can fly around them, and you can do a lot of things, especially if they're on the ground. You have the upper hand, I, I assume, in strategy, that's pretty much the upper hand. You don't fly into their mouth. You just don't do that. That's not, that's not, <laughs> you know? And then, uh, then, and then at the end, Reflector's on the ground. And Reflector has never, hasn't been in the fight at all, but he's on the ground. And it's like, okay, Reflector, that, uh, okay, we'll go ahead and accept that. Then Optimus, okay, so then they're trying, then they beat the Decepticons and they go away. And then they're trying to explain to Optimus, but Optimus, you know, because Optimus had decreed, oh, decreed, that's the word. So Optimus had decreed not to have the Transformers. So basically, they're like, but Optimus, we wouldn't have saved you, and da la 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 and then they're like, and Optimus like, Like, you went against what I, I'm gonna punch you in the, and then, but he's like, okay, even the wisest of men and robots, like, they make mistakes, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this one fly. And that is where the Dinobots get involved. Um, a side note, I'm gonna throw this out there, why, 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 and this puzzles me completely. There's so much money to be made. Hasbro, Hasbro, Hasbro has to be really thinking about making a card game, Pokemon style, of the Transformers. And why they have not, because that, that always puzzled me. Was it ever? Was it, No, I don't think so. In the whole history of Transformers, no, one, no kind of card style game like this has ever been made. Hasbro, you should consider that. Uh, that's it, and I'll let you know about episode 9 pretty soon.